Hello, this is Mark. You know me from our series on how to pay off my car loan in 36 months without giving up Starbucks and being cheap. And I'm proud, you guys have helped me get up to 190 views and you watched my latest video on how I, uh, how I got my car loan down to $5,970 $5, and then I paid it off in like six to seven months. Well, today I, my, I was went to the uh, CVS today, of course, there was no papers, and then of course I had like the guys with the mask and the guys with the gloves. The question is, why is it that it's the people that are the most awkward or like overweight or just dorky who have the um, gloves? I mean, I remember I went to CVS yesterday, this big lady, she had flip-flop flop, flip flops on, her belly was like, roll, I mean, it's big, rolling over her thing. She had on shorts, and then she was buying the cheapest food possible. I'm like, well, what do you want to die from? Do you want to die from the flu, or do you want to die from the uh, of being overweight or having a heart attack? And I had another guy went out to this morning. He bought all the bottles and stuff to clean. He had on the gloves, but when he got out of his car, he didn't have on the he didn't have on the mask and he didn't have on like the hand thing so this was funny because I talked to my people my friends so I said you know Deutsch and like I we're, she's German and we talked about the Holocaust stuff and these are the people like I see I'm like these are the people that'll cut off your skin they'll do what the government says and kill you because they're just the most awkward they're just disenfranchised this is just for their time to shine just look at the Facebook stuff all of a sudden everyone's an expert I have a lady, she's unemployed. All she does is take pictures of her dogs. And she's like worried about, I have a quarantine. Yeah, you should be quarantined because I don't want to be about your be around your dumb ass. So let's keep you quarantined instead of taking care of the dogs. Probably in a week or two when this is all over and you go back in your box, you're going to be unemployed. And you, there's a nice little street corner so you can live with your dog and go crazy. So, But today, what I want you guys to do... When I told you, did I tell you that all of a sudden the CDC don't want, where they're like, all of a sudden things are starting to come down? Didn't I tell you? I only wait for, it was like 311,000 cases. It was like, say like 883, it's like 800, 8,834 deaths. And I did the numbers. So that was like 2.66%. And I'm like, whoa. You know how many people, they're like, out of those 8,000 people, probably, you have that many die in car accidents, murder, suicide, and probably cancer in a year. And I'm like, what? Do you shut down the car industry? Do you shut down the alcohol industry? Uh, since cancer is killing so many people, do you stop selling food? No, no, no. So why all of a sudden did is this all like a big focus? Like part of my conspiracy theory, I told you, it was a way to probably get Biden in. The only what was the think about it? What was the only way to destabilize the economy? The only way to destabilize the economy was you had to be something dramatic, and that's why all the Democratic governors at first were like, "Oh, I'm going to do this, let's do this to this," but then Bernie stayed in the race, and when Bernie stayed in the race, that just destroyed everything. So now all of a sudden the disease color came up, whatever numbers they thought they can control and get all the momentum kind of went out the door and now they're all in survival mode. So stay home, do this, do that, wear your mask. And it's been proven the masks don't even work. And even today the CDC is trying to say, well, if you think or maybe hypothesize it could be related to the C-19 virus, just say that death is a death. So now we're going to even like make up numbers now. So I mean, it's just reminds me like a little bit about the German times where they're making stuff up about the Jews and stuff. Now just make up what you want, man. We don't care anything about the proper medical practices or anything like that. So we're all just hypothesizing. But then I told you, the business people, like you should guys should be happy about Mick, Vince McMahon. He had an event. He brought people in close proximity. You watched it. And you're going to say to yourself, well, if they can go out there and do all that crazy stuff, why am I at home and not working? What's the difference between an essential worker and me? And then all of a sudden today... The New York deaths drop. What's going on? Because it's over. Whatever the conspiracy, it is a conspiracy. This is what I do believe. Whatever the Democrats had planned, it's over. They Because they're like, if this thing keeps going, it's going to interfere with their convention in August. So watch all of this. Within the next two to three weeks, it's going. Watch all of a sudden, oh, everything's okay now. 
oh, we, maybe not 200, maybe some people will die and you can all get around each other, uh, wear a mask or if you're like close proximity or do this and that, watch that's going to happen. So I mean, this is how fascism gets started. You get an introduction into like a little bit about my Carthianism, how like it comes out and how people like become just racist and you find out the people who are really the true racist, the people who really want attention, just watch them. They're, most of them have on the masks, have on the gloves. Be, can be aware of those, man. They, so if they do like this right now and this thing, just think of something really was to go to hell. They, they'd be out your door, hang him, even if it's your mom or daughter. Like, oh, wear, wear a mask, do this, do that. It doesn't work. So... Even in my apartment complex, I know the parents are getting tired of being with the kids. I know these girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands are getting tired of being with the partner. You just see how people are just starting to like snap one by one. It's crazy, man. I just like watch them. I got them on the third floor. I just watch them just like, it's going to be crazy, man. And wait till this week come along when they say, well, if they can do the W over the E thing, I can work. I can just go home and take a shower or bathe and stuff, wear the proper clothing. Why am I losing my job? Why am I losing so much money? So this is what happens when, like, you have government Democrats. They were upset because they couldn't get Trump. They tried this. Now, so you, now they even made it worse now. Six, six million people unemployed. Twelve million, maybe up to 13 million and no, all of you guys ain't going to get unemployment. Trust me, man. They're going to make you work to get that unemployment check. And then, then like you say, oh, Mark, maybe I can get a stimulus check. $1,200. What you going to do with $1,200? You might as well just go on a street corner and beg for $1,200. That's why I said go work on your business skills, work on your sales skills. Just treat this like as a depression and reach sort of like some of the friends you thought were cool are basically racist and they'll like turn on you in a minute. So what's great about what's happened now, you kind of know the level head of people say, I know things are bad, but I'm going to try even kill. And now you know the people who go to the stream and just listen to what they say, listen to what they do. Because you think they're, you, you know why? You know when you can tell their ones? Because you already know they're a little bit off and they do strange things. Now when you get incidents like this, they just explode. And just do all kind of crazy stuff. And they think a mask is going to save them, gloves going to save them. And yet, they just been laid off from their job. They don't have any money. What do you think? The government, so what do they do? Government, government's going to give them a job? Like in the German time, you go sell out people and you get some type of bonus or stuff. Don't believe the hype, man. CDC saying, well, if you think or assume it's related to um, the CV-19 virus, just say it's a death. We don't care. It's like malpractice. That's like me having cancer. Like I'm going to the doctor. Doctor, I think I have cancer. Like the results of I have cancer. What do you think? Well, I'm not really sure, Martin, but you know what? Come back in a year or two. If you're still alive, pay it with cancer. If you're dead, wait, wait, if you're dead within the next two or three months, you know what? I probably was cancer. If you come back in a year and you're still alive, it's something else. I'm not really sure about the diagnosis. We're not going to do the test. I'm just going to go out on a limb and take a good guess. You know, I was watching Law and Order and I saw the doctor recommend a solution. So I'm going to recommend this solution for two years. You want what? Just crazy, man. Just stuff that you would never do with proper doctors, proper procedures. The numbers are like, makes no sense at all. Things are shut down. Just, did, did this make sense to you? Why don't you guys comment, subscribe, like, no, I'm not going to write a stupid Facebook question saying, let me know what kind of breakfast you eat. Let me know what kind of breakfast you eat. I don't want to see pictures of you and your significant other that who are about to get divorced in like a year or so. Don't need to see any of that. Just comment, subscribe, like, and just let me know, hey, Martin, I'm ready to make some money. I'm ready to learn some skills. Or what can I do from one of your programs to keep me on the straight and narrow while I don't get sucked into all these, the negative, don't let the people distract you. If you gotta do certain stuff, do it. That's what I finally had to accept. I kind of may have to wait in line. Just play the game. Right now, you just gotta play the game. Like my German friend says, sometimes you just gotta play the game. Because eventually, cream rises to the top. So don't worry about the wackos and the idiots. No one likes to be around a wacko. No one likes to be around an idiot, and nobody likes to be around anyone that makes them look bad. I don't care if it's German, 
communism or right now with the C-19 virus. Everything runs its cycle and the world reverts to what it says and it just starts to just get rid of people who do stupid stuff. So why don't you subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like. Let me know what you think. So today was just to let you know things are going to get better. I can sell. They already have the New York thing, the Italy thing. The business people are saying, hey, if this shit don't get started, we'll shut the whole fucking thing down. We'll never come back here. We don't give a shit. We got money, and you can like, deal with the little war that's going to go off in your city or your town or your country. So watch. By the end of next week, all of a sudden, you know what? Maybe we should increase that to 20, to 25, to 30, to 300. Or like, uh, we made a mistake. Watch. Watch what I say. And if I'm wrong, hey, I may be off by a week or two, but I know money. Money does not sleep. And money, when it comes to these business people, they do not play. They don't pay politicians to sit around and do crazy stuff. Unfortunately, even for me, I'm looking probably at a 15 to 20 percent pay cut this summer. I work for a state company and then also I'm going to do consulting. So I'm going to have to modify my commission fee. So I know what I know what time it is. So I've worked for a commission. And I know what it's like to take a fifteen to twenty percent pay cut, and it's coming, man. There's no reason. There's no way any government agency will survive. You're gonna have layoffs. And you're gonna have pay cuts. Get ready for that. So what you need to do now? Work on your business skills. Or talk to the proper people. Work on people who are positive. If you gotta pay to wait in line, wait in line. Just be patient. Thank God you have money, because. Within a week, people aren't going to have money. You'll be able to go to, I still say within a week, I'm, I've been wrong about this. I've been wrong about the paper stuff, but everything else in the supermarket, you can just about get. Only thing you can't get is per, per, uh, paper products. Everything else, food's all on the shirt, alcohol, food, and everything. So today, just think, hey, I want you to, don't even watch the news. Just watch how all of a sudden things are going to get better all of a sudden. Because it's going to be hell this week. People are going to go crazy. I'm telling you, people are going to blow up this week. It's just too quiet. I grew up on the Rodney King. I grew up in 2001. I went through the 2008 recession. Things are going to blow up, man. It's going to be a crazy week. So get ready for it. Till then, go watch some of my videos. Watch how I removed my student loan from 93000 to 31789 Go look. Watch how I paid off even my 2012 camera in 17 months. Go and look at that stuff. Get away from the negativity. Get some skills. I got some awesome programs coming out. Because what I learned from this is like, it can do better. But what's happened, this is a reboot for everyone. Like I learned from Grant Cardone, this is a reboot. Because now all the, like, it's like kind of like the water comes in. And like the rain washes out all these businesses that are already scamming or holding on one, two business, like one, two, a contract away. They're done. They're, they're, they're done. So the only business that's going to be the survive is going to be you and me going out, finding the proper people, selling them, making them spend money in a proper way to grow their business instead of doing schemes and scams and grow some balls and ask the customer, hey, buy this later.